Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old sign For old lang sign, my dear, for old lang sign. Talk a cup of kindness yet for days of long sign. Hi guys, Merry Christmas and welcome to my Christmas house tour of 2020. My name is Nina, I am a 52 year old Norwegian living about 30 minutes outside of Oslo, which is the capital of uh, Norway. I am married, living here with my husband and our animals. We have two dogs and two horses and a lot of uh, Japanese koi and goldfish. Uh, we live in the countryside and my channel is... Uh, I do videos on our lives here. But today I have, and I have been looking forward for, uh, to this for so long, uh, I can finally show you how I have decorated my house for Christmas this year. Uh, I am a big babbler, so I'm not going to do that in this video. So without further ado, this is my house for Christmas in the year of 2020. Enjoy guys! Okay, so I, I wasn't going to babble, but <laughs> I was a bit quick. Uh, I will give you a, a walk through the house with me commenting. Uh, if you don't want to see that, I also will do uh, uh, some clips of how the house looks at night to music. So uh, if you want, you can just Fast forward to that. Now guys, this is my Christmas house store of 2020. Enjoy! So this is what you see when you come into my house and here pretty much everything is the same as last year. I have a garland around the mirror and if you see through the mirror, I love the kind of view through my house when it's decorated for Christmas. I think it's so festive. And this corner too is one of my favorites uh, with a candle holder and the wreath. And I decorate this pretty much the same every year. Uh, I have a small display here with and done really simple just used and wooden box old box or it's not old but it's old looking some lit up packages some greenery and some flowers and a couple of reindeers very simple but I think it it gives a lovely display my bedroom is also pretty much the same as last year. I have a new wreath on the wall and this year I have also put some poinsettias, one in the window and one on the wall. I did this last year and I've and I loved it so much it's just an apothecary jar with uh, some figurines and a bit of snow and I think it's so nice and my chest of drawers is also dressed for Christmas with some 
greenery and a small flocked tree with a lot of birds over the bed I have a small garland with lights and of course the stocking on my side of the bed uh, and these wooden snowflakes I think they're so they give us such a cozy vibe to the room hanging from the chandelier and those of you who have followed me know that this is my way of uh, decorating the bedroom it's much of the same just small uh, changes I think this is another bedding than last year I mix two different beddings and also some decorative pillows and the tray and this year I've done it very very simple some greenery some cups and the two candle holders and a string of lights with this these uh, balls that I thought looked a bit like snow balls I can show you the room from this angle and this is what I see when I wake up I can look through the house love it okay so this is <laughs> if you haven't been to my house before it is a very small house and this is actually the master bedroom so uh, not a lot of space but it's more than enough for us and this is my daughter's old uh, she's 26 so she doesn't live home anymore but or at my home anymore <laughs> she has her own home so this is my grandson's Harry Potter room. This is Halloween decor that I have made. And when we took it down, we made my grandson a Harry Potter room. So he can have when he stay. He lives across the road, so he doesn't stay that much, but, uh, or sleep over that much, but at least he knows no he has this room and there are some festive touches here and of course i have forgotten to turn on the lights let me just do that okay so there we are uh haven't done a lot but there are uh two cute Santas here and these small trees this is Go Yul and that means Merry Christmas in Norwegian uh, I have made most of the decor in the room uh, so if you want to see how I did that go and find my last uh, or I can link it below my last Halloween video I should have given Dobby some clothes and a festive hat but uh, I haven't done that yet I have also made uh, him uh, and I am uh, I think bigger Harry Potter fan than my grandson so I love this <laughs> <laughs> room maybe even more than him this is the Nimbus 2000 and my husband and I made this okay guys so that's our Harry Potter room and I also have some festive pillows and a blanket this room is white and red all year so it doesn't take much to make it look Christmassy this is also my husband's wardrobe or he has his wardrobe in here so yeah okay 
I have an upstairs, but that's uh, our wardrobe and let me back up. It's a wardrobe and a spare bedroom, but some play I have to have some place to kind of put all the <laughs> boxes and stuff. So it it looks like a bomb has exploded, so we will not go up. I actually had plans to try to get it ready, but yeah, I didn't. I have a very small bathroom, and this year it is not very festive. Uh, but at least there are some touches. I have this Marius patterned red. Uh, oh my god, the words lost on me. Uh, towel. And it says Guyul again, which means Merry Christmas. And this is actually <laughs> my husband's. He has bought this, this decor, uh, and it's in the toy in the loo, but yeah, it's an outdoor loo with a Santa. I actually think it's cute. Uh, so again, the apothecary jar with some figurines inside, some greenery and more figurines, and that's about it. But at least it's a little bit of decor. Okay, so from the entrance you can walk into our dining room. And I hope you have seen last week's or my last week vlogmas. Then you will have seen how I made this big gold glittery centerpiece. It's a tree. And as I said in that video, and I will repeat, and I say that with all my tablescapes, I am not a good photographer and it's very difficult to take good footage of this. But if you think it's beautiful on the video, it's 10 times more beautiful in real life. So yeah but I hope you can get an idea. So I made this big gold glittery tree and I held the tablescape <laughs> secret. At least I tried to and of course it made it difficult for me to take good shots of the tree, but I wanted to save it. And uh, it kind of came along as I started to decorate. I had a plan for the tree, but not for the tablescape. Uh, it was the nutcrackers that... Ooh, sorry. It was the nutcrackers that kind of uh, set the stage for the rest. Uh, I wanted a bit of a whimsical theme, so it's the nutcracker, it's a strange looking Christmas tree, some glittery flying pigs and these beautiful red and gold glittery figurines. I will take you to the other side as well. This is some decor I have bought in Sweden at Liseberg. It's a amusement park we usually go to but of course with the virus not this year a uh, big glittery stag and i tied the bow around his neck to kind of tie it all together the flying pigs have the same i also did that on my tree because i thought the stem was very long so i wanted it to yeah i wanted something to kind of uh, make the stem look a bit shorter so i just tied a, rove, a red velvet bow as you can see i have carved in e plus n that's my husband and me okay for my grand for my daughter and around here is a b for my 
grandson and the place settings or whatever you call it I've just have taken some some faux apples red apples with a gold glittery leaf on top leaf on top it reminds me a bit of uh, of uh, Snow White uh, and that's I, I know I don't have an elegant decor style I could if I wanted but it's not my style I like it to be kind of whimsical uh, and fairy tale looking I want when my guest and my family and especially my grandson sits come to visit or sit down to eat I want it to feel like he's in an enchanted forest and uh, I think I did that last year and I think I did that this year as well the colors are was a bit uh, new for me I usually have a red green and gold and this year I have red and gold doesn't seem it, it, it doesn't sound like it's a big change but without the green it's much more yellowy looking and I thought that was a bit uh, it felt a bit different to start with but now I love it in the tree I have also hung some pine cones I know that there is no tree in the world where you can find these pine cones and poinsettias <laughs> of the same tree I don't care I love them and I have some glittery red birds and oh gold glittery bird and some gold snowflakes there is one yeah yeah just love it and in the windows I have also tried to kind of create this red and gold glittery fantasy woodsy look uh, very simple two angels some glittery trees and I have a lot of these and yes they are expensive but I have collected them for years some of them are uh, expensive some of them are not some red glittery roses and again the poinsettia and of course my red velvet uh, drapes this is a wooden clock that my father-in-law has carved and again the garland and the poinsettias with the gold leaf and lights around the door opening I think that is so festive looking uh, here's another view of the tablescape I love these figurines that's a giraffe and it's a unicorn two unicorns all dressed up for Christmas can't wait to spend Christmas with my family here and here's my here's my Christmas tree one of them and again I use the same decor I have tried to gone for a more kind of uh, woodsy spiky <laughs> look this time uh, this year but again I'm using almost exactly the same decor and I love it uh, I sing so I'm sorry for the clutter but it is what it is and of course I have a train and it goes it uh, it's a lot of noise but my grandson love it underneath the tree I have the same lit up uh, presents 
some snowballs and around the corner some beautiful deers and I had just put some two white uh, cheap sheep fur I think it's called yeah skins underneath I don't think those are fake I actually think they are real uh, and if you have followed me you know that I also do my fireplace mantle in the same kind of vibe as my tablescape and this year I love my fireplace mantle it is these I bought these branches glittery branches last year and these were the inspiration for my tablescape or my gold glittery tree centerpiece again gone for this woodsy looking display uh, just a wreath with a couple of poinsettias again the glittery tree and of course Santa in a balloon underneath the moon again these are the cord that I have bought in Sweden at Liseberg and I love it I think the fireplace mantle came out really pretty this year some a big stag and a little one of course all covered in glitter it's this time of the year you know why I have called my channel grandma glitter uh, it's too warm in the house to lit the light a fire so I have this twinkling lights with some wood so it looks like it's a fire again some decor from Elisabeth and this lantern and on the cupboard I have some stockings and a wreath a heart-shaped wreath I cannot decorate inside my uh, cupboard I use it so and I don't have anywhere to, else to put what's in it so yeah here I also have a one of these glittery branches with some flower and flowers and other gold glittery picks and some gold trees some another flying glittery pig <laughs> yeah. so that's my dining room and on the chairs this year last year I had the wreaths and I love that this year I have this big glittery bows and it was uh, it took more than a minute to figure out how I was how, how I was uh, to uh, uh, put them on without them falling off so I ended up sewing together uh, some ribbon and gluing the the bows to the ribbon and I also put a big needle and hopefully it will hold it I tried sewing them to the chair without the ribbon but it didn't work so so far so good and from my or yeah on my piano I just have this telephone booth with the Santa with the glitter and these candles I don't know if they are uh, woodwick if they are 
something you can buy everywhere if you can oh, they smell so good and as you can hear the, the wick makes this kind of crackling noise so it sounds like a small fire love it and in my living room is the only room i kind of not have this red and gold traditional colors here is a more frosty look and even though it's kind of light and white and green and frosty it does not feel cold uh, I don't have many places to put my decor here but I use the space as good as I, I can this is our TV uh, we call it a TV bench. Uh, I don't know what it's called in English. I have a nativity scene. Of course with a lot of glitter and this glittery tree. Some Riviera Mason. Uh, if you have followed me, you know I love that brand. Uh, beautiful candle holders. And this year I found this small velvet bags uh, if you are Norwegian or Swedish I found those at Rysta and I have put all, all the candy inside or almost all the candy inside uh, and it's decorative but it also <laughs> makes us forget that it's there so we have eaten less and that's a good thing here's my big Santa display my Santa, my big stag and this is a, a lamp I got from my husband and I've just put some icicles on the lamp and hung some big snowflakes above I usually have a garland hanging above uh, the window. My husband just does not like them. So this year, for his sake, I decided to do something different. We also have these Christmas stars in every window. I love these old fashioned stars. I love the light they give. So this year, I have done it really simple. Just a ballerina from the Nutcracker. Uh, a flocked garland some glittery white trees and some uh, figurines the candle holder is also Riviera Mason I think and or Lenebjerde I think it's Riviera Mason and it's part of my everyday decor and I do the two windows the same or at least almost the same like that and this is also one of my uh, yearly displays that it changes a bit but not much my Lenebjerde stags or deers uh, my lit up angel that's uh it's not to everybody's taste i think it's so ugly it's pretty if you know what i mean i i think the angel is beautiful i love the lights but when it turns kind of <laughs> yellow purple green <laughs> yeah uh, some may think it's tacky i love it and then my frosted branch and I think we agreed that this is called twisted hazel or something like that uh, and in the I know the I know the bow looks black it's not it's dark is it the dark green velvet uh, bow So, 
and here I've just kind of followed through with the same theme or the same style just a garland with some lights and a bow and the same kind of bird and I have my Riviera Mason Advent candle holder we light one candle for each Sunday before Christmas so of course with just a couple of days left until Christmas Eve which is the day we celebrate uh, we have all four lit and this is one of the big changes I did this year I gave myself the permission and some may think it's sad but I wanted just to try this is usually my traditional not so pretty th tree and then I bought this glittery lightly flocked tree last year it's so beautiful and I wanted to see how it looks when I decorate it kind of in a more aesthetic way of course I miss my traditional uh, whimsical decor but I also loved how this turned out and these are if you have seen my vlogmases these are the white poinsettia garlands that I kind of frosted and I think they look beautiful on the tree so just the poinsettia garlands some lights some icicles and some white snowflakes and that's all and I was and I may still do that but I my plan was to make uh, hang picture make small ornaments with pictures of uh, everyone that has ever celebrated Christmas with us because I have uh, these ornaments on my the tree I usually when I usually how I usually decorate my tree uh, but I didn't get any time to do that but I may still if I get time and on my secretary again done it very simple just a bouquet of flowers and a stag a Santa candle holder that I have every year and ooh, This is my table decor here. I have put a, a faux, fur, faux fur with a candle holder, a mousse. I'll just go around and give you a view from the kind of front. A string of lights and a Christmas tree and my heart-shaped bows that I love. Yeah. So that is my living room all dressed up for Christmas. And then if you walk through here, you come into my kitchen and we have not painted. We are going to uh, change the house around inside. So the floor was supposed to be painted, but it's not. Uh, my kitchen is small and, and we use it a lot. Uh, and I have kind of just... Uh, I dec my kitchen will never kind of look uh, neat if you know uh, tidy because it's a lot of things here but it's cozy so here I have my hot chocolate station and it looks like a mess but I love it it's a whimsical Christmassy beautiful mess I think so I have some peppermint candy and inside this is a 
cookie jars. I have gingerbread cookies, marsh marshmallows, cups, and these spoons, mint spoons, some chocolate spoons, and some chocolate powder, and some small wooden things to stir around in your hot, hot chocolate. And inside my cake clock or I have a small winter it's kind of a fairy garden winter scene I love this again it's a kind of a if you know a fairy tale feel to it one of my viewers said that she described my style as cozy and warm and I for sure can live with that I love that uh, here as well some cookie jars and of course we are going to bake today so they will be a lot more cookies and a bouquet of festive greenery and flowers this is something that used to it's a witch that used to hang in my grandmother's house then in my mother's house and now it hangs here so it has a lot of tradition and here is our festive uh, uh, tableware and our small kitchen table and we have a kind of a wine and akevit station akevit is a it's what is under here it is a spicy uh, it's not a liqueur but it's alcohol I don't like it at all but many in Norway does it's what we usually drink together with beer uh, beer for the Christmas dinner I do not drink alcohol with a dinner so but yeah many do so that's my kitchen and that is my whole house guys okay guys that was my Christmas house tour of 2020 I hope you enjoyed and I hope uh, you got some inspiration. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all a wonderful and Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for all the love and support. This is not my last video for this Christmas. There will be at least one or two more. So I'll see you soon. But until then, have a wonderful week guys and a wonderful Christmas. Bye!